So you may notice uh, my screen probably looks a little bit different than yours. And I'm talking about these buttons over here. And what we're going to look at today is how you can uh, enable these inside of Mastercam. So let's dig into this and I'll show you what I've got implemented and how I've made it active inside of Mastercam. So first up, yes, these buttons do work. So this one here, Analyze Entity, if I click on it and pick a line, you can see it is going to do an Analyze Entity. Uh, likewise, if I come down here and click on Dynamic, it is going to bring me into uh, Dynamic Transform. Now, this is not anything super new. We've always been able to, to add into to our toolbars to add buttons where we want. Um, the difference here is I'm just able to access these at any time. So for example here, if I'm in the toolpaths tab, I'm doing lots of toolpaths and all of a sudden I want to do a dynamic transform. I've either got to come back over here into transform and launch it this way. And once I've done my movement, then I've got to get back over to the toolpaths tab, which again, this, this solves that problem, but we can, you know, do a right click up on here and we, we can customize our ribbons and put commands into, into toolbars. Let me just go ahead and show you how that's done here, just in case. Uh, you're not aware. So what I'm working on here is a tool tab and I'm in the uh, the 2D or sorry, I'm in the mill toolbar here. And if I want to add in something else, I can just do a on this tool pass tab. I'm going to add a new group and let's rename this. I'm just going to call this something basic like move. Now to this move section, I can go over here into all my commands and I can find that dynamic command, which is under D for dynamic, right? Scrolling, scrolling, scrolling. And there it is dynamic. And I can add that over here. Hit on okay. And there I've, I've got my uh, dynamic on uh, my, my tool pass tab. So that's always you've always been able to do this. And if I click on this just to make sure that it works, it does in fact get me into uh, the dynamic function. Okay, so there's how you can add buttons the normal way. This is adding buttons the abnormal way. So how do we add buttons the abnormal way? Uh, now it's not anything super fancy, but I, I have made videos about this before. And that's talking about custom keys. Uh, well, more specifically in an external device called a Stream Deck. Uh, but Stream Deck has come out with uh, software implementation of their physical devices. And it's called a, a, well, I guess it's obvious it would be called a virtual Stream Deck. So what it's able to do here now is we're able to create custom buttons of whatever it is we want. Um, and basically, instead of having a physical device like a Stream Deck, you can now do it within uh, the interface of your computer. So why would you want to do, uh, why would you want to use a virtual Stream Deck like this and, and make these these buttons inside of Mashcam versus just adding them to a toolbar or, or for that matter, making your own custom toolbar uh, comprised of all the commands that, that you want. So I guess a couple, couple, couple options here, a couple reasons. Number one, you can see I can place this toolbar wherever I want. Uh, if I wanted to move this thing over, over here, I can, I can put it over here. Uh, and it's always going to be visible no matter what I'm doing. Uh, no matter what toolbar I'm on, it's always visible. Uh, I guess the other thing is um, you can change the shape of your buttons. Not so much the shape, shape of a button, but the configuration that the buttons are in. You see here, I can have a row where it's just uh, a single row of buttons like this. And maybe that's that's a nice, easy option for you. Another big factor here where the Stream Deck is better than just buttons in Mastercam is you can actually do more than just simple functions contained within Mastercam. So yes, we can do things like analyze a toolpath, uh, do a dynamic transform, but I can also do things external. Like I can use this button here and I can launch my calculator. So that's something that we're often doing is, is launching into a calculator mode. And since I'm on the topic of a calculator, hey, Mastercam, you want to make something in your software that would be really useful? Make a calculator in Mastercam that's able to show this in an actual decimal layout. Now, this is the Windows calculator. And no matter what you do, you cannot show this in normal decimal format. Anything, anything with really, really small numbers, it shows it in the scientific notation, which, yeah, sure, you get the how much you're supposed to move the decimal over, but no one wants to do that. I want to see this displayed correctly. If Mashcam can implement a calculator inside of it that we can launch and show numbers correctly, that would be fantastic. Anyways, I'm done with the, the Windows calculator rant for now. Other things you can do, other things you can implement. So let's say you're often going to your, your post folder location to, to find a post and maybe do a small tweak here and there. 
uh, I can launch a, an instance of a file explorer and have it open directly into my posts folders, which makes opening uh, these, these files now and editing uh, much, much simpler. Uh, so similar to that, I can also use buttons to launch specific websites. Example here, I click on this button and it brings me directly to mastercam.com. I guess I should change that. I should have that go into Cam Instructor instead, right? That's the, the website I should be going to, not Mastercam. Uh, there's also fun little widgets, a little weather widget. I can see the temperature outside in the forecast. Um, down here at the very bottom, another cool function of this software is I can use this folder button to dive into more commands. So if I only wanted to have one row of buttons, but I wanted to have more than say eight commands, I can use that to implement more buttons. Maybe over here, I can use buttons that are, are used to control my media player that I use when I'm programming. So I can skip the next song, pause, turn the volume off, uh, whatever. So let me bring back over the interface here for a minute. And you can see uh, some of the things that are going on. And I'll just lightly dive over some of the, the interface options here and, and some functionality. So here you can see I've got uh, number one and number two. Those are the two different button configurations I have laid out. And it's uh, obviously you can switch between them, either in the, the software itself or just using your middle mouse wheel on the buttons. And you can switch uh, the different configurations. Now this could be used, maybe you want one button layout for Mashcam, maybe you have a button layout for SolidWorks, another button layout for, for Varicut, whatever it may be. You can also show up to 64 buttons. So right now I'm only showing eight and I'm showing eight uh, going vertical. You could obviously make those eight going horizontal and you can also make it so that uh, all the buttons are shown. And there you can see that uh, if we increase this all the way up to eight for each, there you get a, a grid like this. And uh, that's how I was able to get this layout to only show the buttons that were active here is just by using uh, this hide unused key, which you can get to more of a, oh, it's just a moved off screen on me there. You can get into those, those custom configurations, custom layouts uh, to shape around a, a curve or a screen like this. I guess uh, one more feature or functionality that I will point out here is so currently I have my my toolbar set to being fixed. So it's, it's here and it's always here. You can also change it to what's called dynamic. And basically what that does is it allows you to basically only show this when you want it to be shown. So let me just say do uh, something that's not used. Let's do alt uh, alt and uh, alt Z. OK, hopefully that works. So I'm working away in a mash cam and I click on Alt Z and that brings my toolbar up. Now I wouldn't bring up a shape of toolbar like this, but uh, maybe the other one like this is a little bit more relevant. And just simply using that uh, Alt Z whenever I want would bring up my toolbar and you can click on whatever command it is that uh, you need from it. So that's all I have for you fine folks today. Uh, just a little tip here on ways to speed up your workflow in Mashcam. If you have any tips yourselves on things that you use to make your workflow better, uh, let me know and maybe I can make a video about those.